We know that your brain receives information about your body and the environment from your sensory organs, such as your eyes, ears, and nose. But did you know that the muscles in your body are also sensory organs? As your body moves, muscles stretch, and this information is sent to your brain, so it knows what your body is doing. When you think of muscles, you probably think of your biceps and triceps. You won't necessarily think of the small muscles close to your spine and skull. These small muscles do in fact play a very important role. They tell your brain what your spine is doing, which represents what the core of your body is doing. However, if your spine segments begin to move in a dysfunctional way, for example due to an injury or bad posture, that communication between your spine muscles and your brain becomes distorted, which means you have a communication breakdown between your brain and your body. If your spinal segments aren't moving correctly, it may cause background noise for your brain or your brain might not get adequate information about what's going on in your body and will therefore have to fill in the blanks. Let's explore an analogy. Imagine for a moment that you have lived in a house all your life and in this house there's a long corridor with no windows. At the end of the corridor is an electrical fuse box. Now imagine that the circuit breaker to the lights is blown and you are pitched into complete darkness. Would you be completely helpless? Or could you walk down that corridor in that house you have lived in all your life and turn the circuit breaker back on? Of course you could. You have lived there your whole life. You would know roughly how long the corridor was and how wide it was. You would be able to get down there and turn the lights back on. Your brain is just as smart as that. It can function even if there's parts of your body that it cannot see. It will be able to function and control those parts of your body because of past experiences. But now imagine that before the lights went out, your kids have left a bicycle in that long corridor that you had not seen. What would happen in that scenario? You would likely fall and hurt yourself. And that is what happens when the brain is not fully aware of what's going on somewhere in your body. You could end up having an accident or hurt yourself. This is where your chiropractor comes in. A chiropractor will gently adjust any dysfunctional spine segments and what they call vertebral subluxations to restore healthy movement. This can improve the communication between your brain, your body, and the environment. It is a lot like rebooting a computer. When your brain can accurately perceive what is going on inside and out, it can control your body better for the situation at hand and move muscles in the right order. This means your body moves accurately, you have fewer accidents, and you can function and perform at your best.